I'm trying to look at it as a learning experience, um, but it's just very hard not to be very frustrated. What's up guys, welcome back. Um, let's just get right into part two. Uh, we're gonna finish this paint correction on the Evo today. Um, last time was my first attempt ever at buffing or polishing a car, um, and I was pretty satisfied. Uh, happy with how it's turning out so far. Um, I'm excited to keep going and see how I can get this paint looking. So um, yeah, let's just get right into it and uh, keep going. I'm really excited to try the hood, because um, I know like with the roof, with the water spots and everything, if that gave me the issues that it did, well, not like it was hard, but it was just, um, it took a while to get it off. Um, I am concerned and excited about the hood. It is really messed up here along the front as far as like swirls. I mean, it's really bad in this area. Um, we can't really see it just yet, but I'll show you when the time comes. Uh, we gotta do this side first. Uh, we'll start at the back and work our way to the front. All right, so um, as you can see, this door is extremely swirled out. Um, it is all over the entire door. Um, there's a pretty big spot right there I gotta get off. I don't know what that is. Um, and then there's a couple little dings here. Um, this one has a dent in it. I gotta go to a PDR guy to get that taken care of. But um, this big scuff right here, if the light doesn't hit it weird, um, that's a pretty good one. I'm gonna assume a shopping cart. I don't really know, but yeah. Um, we will see what we can do with this door. It looks pretty rough right now, but let's lay some Let's lay some compound to it, you know? <laughs> While I'm doing this buffing stuff, um, I'm gonna probably jump over to the other side and do that as well, um, because there's no use in really showing you um, this side and that side. It's the same thing. I'll probably highlight some of the more prominent scratches that I wanted to highlight over there uh, and take care of. Um, but yeah, we'll get this side and that side done through all this, and uh, yeah, we'll hit you back in a sec. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it or not in the first video, but this little brush is a must for these little pads, uh, the fast finishing pad, um, because it does, when it gets hot and stuff, the uh, compound will, it will cause it to mat down. So this brush will make it fluffy again and get the brush looking, or make the pad looking uh, new again. So um, I use this probably every two times or so just to make sure it's all fluffed up, but uh, yeah. That's after two goes. Um, you can tell that a majority of the swirls are gone, um, but that little fella right there um, is still in there pretty well. There you go, it's a good angle. Um, there's still some pretty big scratches up along this way. Um, so I'm gonna work on this a little bit more, do it a couple more times, and um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay, well, I am um, pretty pissed at myself right now, actually. Um, let me show you the door. So we're here. Um, we were making good progress on the scratch. Couldn't really tell that much anymore. Um, I was getting ready to call it quits, and I was buffing, and my foot started to like kind of cramp, so I went to move. When I moved, I put pressure on the 
on the polisher and we seem to have, have burnt the clear. <laughs> this took all of, I mean, just a fraction of a second. And it feels smooth, like the clear is there, but um, I'm gonna do a test on it and use a cloth and rub it with some of the polishing compound and see if it turns blue. If it turns blue, then I'm for sure through the clear, but it just feels smooth there. Um, I'm so pissed that I didn't just stop and then adjust my foot and then start again. But yeah, all it takes is a fraction of a second and that can happen and then you're left being pissed off because that is a pretty big spot if you ask me. Um, way worse than the scratch was. But I'm a noob and I'm inexperienced and that's sometimes what you get in a learning curve and I am highly annoyed. <laughs> Okay, so I rubbed it in. Yeah, I'm for sure through the clear there. Um, uh, fuck. It doesn't sound any rougher. It doesn't feel any rougher. But, I mean, that's obviously, I mean, that, that's a telltale sign that, I mean, I'm through. <laughs> I'm through the clear. Pretty sure of it. Uh, well, I'll have to fix that at some point in time. But, I mean, there's nothing I can do with it right now. I'll just have a giant ass spot on the door. Um, which is going to piss me off every time I see it, but I'm learning. So, um, this is the cost of learning, I suppose. Um, this would have never happened had I not tried to adjust my foot while still trying to polish. Um, that was my dumbass mistake, and we will just keep moving on. Um, it was coming out pretty good. I was... Gonna make a comment about how like I'm surprised I haven't had an issue and fucking there we go. <laughs> there it is. <sighs> I'm trying to look at it as a learning experience, but um, it's just very hard not to be extremely, extremely frustrated. <sighs> Whatever. I can sit and dwell on it all day or I can just move on. Um, it's done now. Can't do anything about it just yet, um, but I will fix it. And um, yeah, let's get to the next door and just keep moving. All right, um, I redeemed myself on the front door. Um, looks pretty dang good for the uh, first run through. Um, I'm gonna move to the fender real quick because I do want to get um, that big boy out and this one along the edge there. Um, I'm gonna be uber cautious along that edge because if I burn through more clear, I'm gonna be highly pissed at myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's coming along good now. Um, if I could just quit staring at that. God, you can see it from here. Anyway, uh, Fender, let's do that. Alright, we got that about as good as I'm going to get it. Um, looks, I mean, way better. Um, that one scratch I was pointing at earlier, um, it's in the clear. I ran it on my finger earlier uh, the first time I did it, but I felt it now and it's like there's a line there and so um, I can feel my nail catching on it, so I'm not going to mess with that anymore. I'm just going to let it be, And um, but the rest of it looks damn good. Um, so all that's left to do as far as the compound part now is the hood. And we got the trunk back here. Um, I will probably do the rear bumper and the front bumper and the sides by hand um, because, I mean, just look at them. <laughs> They're super curvy and edgy. Um, and that's why, I, one of the reasons why I got this stuff because you can do it by hand or by machine. So, probably will do that um, with that stuff. And, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and take the wing off and get that done and taken care of, or we can do the trunk. Um, I already removed the key. Um, I think I'm just going to remove this, this emblem here. Um, I'm going to order another one. I have an idea that I want to do um, to get rid of the chrome, and so I'm going to try that 
and I'm excited to get the evolution off of there as well whenever we remove that but man look at the you can see the swirls here I mean this was pretty much the whole car um, how that looks so let's get the wing off and keep moving forward Jesus, like I don't know what <laughs> happened there, but God, this here, this is like dug into the trunk. I don't know what that is or what happened there, but God dang. All right, well, good thing I have some touch up paint as well, so we can try to work with that. Um, let me get this cleaned up best I can here and then we'll start on the trunk piece. My god, this is like Look at that Anywho, let's get it cleaned up Hell yeah, man, um that looks damn good. Um, got a lot, I mean, all the water spots off. Um, there's a little, there's a little scratch. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's like a swirl or something that like goes down and then up. I mean, you can kind of see it right there. Um, I think that will come off with step two. Um, I'm not going to do any more step one. I did it probably a couple more times um, after what you just saw. And so, um, yeah, I think that looks pretty damn solid. Hell yeah, look at that. Looking like glass. And you know, surprisingly enough, um, even with being on the car for 12 years, you can't really tell, there it is. So you can't really tell where the Mitsubishi emblem was um, as far as like the sun fading out the paint and stuff like that. Like I'm, I'm very surprised at that being as faint as it is. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. But I think we're at a good stopping point for the day. Um, we got a lot done today. I'm very happy with that. Um, I just wish we hadn't have done that to the door. Um, I don't know what, I mean, it was just my, it was the lapse in thought, I guess. I don't know. I guess I forgot what I was doing and just thought that I could move and put weight on it or whatever. Um, I just, it was, you know, I wanted to say it was experience earlier and my lack of experience, but, um, I don't think it had anything to do with that necessarily. Um, it was just, I just lost track of what I was doing and forgot what I was doing and just put weight on it and it happened so fast and that's what happens. So, um. I'll have to get that fixed eventually. Um, I have no equipment here to do any type of paint work or whatever. Um, and I know once you go through the clear, um, you have to get it resprayed, whether it's clear or paint. I know with this being a pearl, probably paint because you can't blend that like that. You just can't uh, patch it like that because the way the color tones are and the way it changes in the light and everything, um, it would just look worse, I think, in my mind. So um, we'll have to figure that out eventually. Um, sucks, but is what it is, happened. So. We'll just keep moving forward from that and um, otherwise I'm very happy with how the paint's turning out. I'm very happy with how it looks. Um, very happy. So yeah, uh, drop a comment down below on what you think so far on my bonehead move on the door. <laughs> Anything, be glad to hear it. And uh, don't forget to do all the other YouTube stuff down there. You guys know how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Bye.